I have a part of created tool paths for and I'm happy with them. Now that I'm happy with them, I want to machine six or seven or eight or four, but multiple parts exactly the same. So first I'm going to program one part, make sure I'm happy, and then to create multiple parts, each with their own unique work offset, I'm going to select tool paths from the drop down menu, and then transform. The type is a translate, the method is to translate the coordinates. All my tool paths are selected here and I'm going to enable copy source operations and disable posting in selected source operations which means all of these will get ghosted. Picture the ghost will appear over the tool path meaning they won't be posted out when I select post code. They'll be copied. Now I want each part to have its own unique work offset. So I'm going to tell it to assign new work offsets starting at 0 and incrementing by 1. So Mastercam starts counting at 0 and increments by 1. So if I have 6 parts in total, it'll go from 0 to 5. And on a Fanuc machine, the first one would be assigned G54, the second G55, the third G56, and etc. up to G59. So I've said it's a translation for the coordinate, copy the source operation, disable posting in the new sorry, disable posting in the source operations, selected everything. Now when I copy a tool path this way, Mastercam is going to machine all the tool paths on the first part, then all the tool paths on the second, all the tool paths on the third, and etc. My next option is to go to the translate window. I need to tell it how many copies, so I'm going to say there are three in the X and two in the Y. The rectangular coordinates, so I'm going to tell it the distance between. This here is strictly for visualization in Mastercam and is irrelevant because each part will have its own unique work offset that will have to be established at the machine. This again is strictly for visualization here. So these values are not critical. So for example, in my X, I'm going to copy these negative, I don't know, I'm just going to make up a number, four inches. And in the Y, Again, I'm going to go negative 4 inches. I'll say OK. I'll fit the screen. The parts are too close, but remember, that's just a visualization here. You'll notice all the tool paths are ghosted. If I don't like the visualization because I'm going to go simulate it, and I don't like how it looks, I'll go back to parameters, to the translate, and I'll make the gap, the distance bigger. So maybe I'll make this negative 6 inches. I'll accept that. Regenerate the tool paths. So all my tool paths that are posted out are coming from my tool path number 11 here. And now I think they won't hit each other. Again, if I'm worried about it, I can come back to parameters. This is strictly for visualization here in Mastercam because each part has its own unique work offset. If I go back to types and methods, I can also tell it to create new geometry and it'll actually copy all of my geometry here. However, I'm not interested in increasing my file size so I am going to not enable create new geometry. I just want to copy the source operations, give each one its own unique work offset. So I'll accept that, regenerate, and there we can see the six parts that will be machined. Their actual location will be determined at the machine. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to save my work.